Hey folks, welcome to the Brilliant Body Podcast, a forum to learn about and liberate the brilliance of your body and ultimately to expand the meaning and experience of intelligence. Join me, Ali Mize, and other body masters to explore pioneering and varied perspectives on what it means and feels like to be embodied. There's only one thing that I would like to do, to do a walk. A three-minute walk. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's a demonstration. Let's do it. What do you want to walk? I could walk something for you. What if you walked our audience, the Brilliant Body Podcast audience? I'm thinking a lot about my listeners, our listeners. Who are they? Who needs or wants to hear this content? And I'm making it up in my head. They're abstract. Perfect people and I'd like to learn more about who they are and hopefully I will through comments and encounters of different kinds but I would love to know because it's a population I want to serve absolutely perfect so just to understand again the frame for this walk subject is the audience of the brilliant body podcast or what are the needs of that audience or what am I how am I serving how am I Ali Mize? serving oh god those are all really interesting oh, how do i serve my audience best with the brilliant body oh, podcast? yeah okay let's just try that i am now how ali best serves her audience with the brilliant body podcast I want to open this door. <laughs> I want to change the space a bit. I don't want that door closed. I want it open. Open is better. So I want to order my space immediately hmm. in this walk. Noticing that helps me move better. Uh, I'm my my legs are more activated, strong. And I'm very oriented through my legs right now. And now that I've opened the space, I feel more openness just to live here and move here. Um, yeah, and my energy is feels um, easy. Easy, um, awake. I notice you're walking quite rapidly, actually. I'm walking in this small space, but the pace of my walk is the legs. Again, they take long strides. <laughs> I'm taking big strides. Like I'm not just walking in these small steps. I'm really enjoying the stride of my leg. So like, you know, nearly a meter every time I walk, you know, it's like that. And that feels good to me. It's it's a kind of, um, I'm open to, to, I'm open to covering a lot of ground <laughs> with my long legs. And it, it brings up a feeling of, um, excitement like joy coming up through my belly into my heart um and i really i want to engage like i know how am i meeting the world i'm moving in a big way i'm i'm big you know mm. I, like my body is big and my my strides are big my arms even sweep out you know and um, there's a lot of stretching, or not stretching, but reaching. And um, I'm shaking. I, there's a real feeling like this is new. I'm shaking something out. Uh, there's, co there's cobwebs, sort of, or something that might need to be cleared away. And I'm getting kind of creative with my legs. I feel like there's this, a bit of um, demonstration 
going on. Like I'm demonstrating, I'm, I'm being a model, in fact, for largesse, uh, for expandedness. <laughs> so I, I'm doing this kind of presentment, you know. Look at this. Look at me. But more like, look at what's possible, you know. Pow. Look at what's possible here. All of these things are possible. So I had this expression of wanting to meet the world with these possibilities. And this is opening. It's always about opening. Opening. And if I was to ask what is missing from this experience, I wanted to now have a silent intention. Mm. So there's a part of me that wanted to I want to I want to connect with my silent intention. Mm. And I can feel that orienting more here, my heart. It, the intention is, it has a kind of something about wanting others to be turned on to themselves, to what's possible. It sounds simple to say that, but it's a quiet no, just intentionality. By, just by your going there, I really heard it. You, do you mind just doing also a quick one for the audience of the Brilliant Body podcast? I'm sure I'm projecting weirdness on that. And there's probably something I'm missing about who they are. I am now the audience for the Brilliant Body podcast. Immediately, I wanted to get some cricks out of my shoulders. <laughs> wanted to kind of, uh, yeah, loosen up. I felt some little strictures here. I wanted to loosen that up. Hmm. I feel like I'm, um, my bot, my leg is kind of vibrating a bit, kind of jumpy, a little bit nervous. Looking around, um, I'm not moving immediately. I'm a little bit not moving, you know? I'm not moving, I'm not, I'm moving but I'm in one place and, and, I, and I'm kind of dealing with my one place. Um, if I say, well, but I could move, I could walk. Eh, doesn't feel so good. doesn't feel right. You know, I want to get to know this one place. Maybe I also need to feel safe here. Um, body just wants, to, my body keeps wanting to get more energy. It's like, I had this thought before it was about, I'm itching to, to get going. You know, I want to get going. I feel a little bit impatient too, like with myself, like get going. But I'm kind of anxious about going. Yeah. Why do you want to get going or what do you want? I just if I go more into this, I want to get going. I want to get going. I want to be active. I want to be moving. I want to be <laughs> a bit like that 
alley person in the other walk who was just <laughs> striding around saying, let's do this, you know? And I want to kind of be like that, but I'm not allowed fully to do that. Like, I don't allow myself fully to do that. I, I'm a bit hemmed in here, but I have this intention, like, I want to do that. Um, yeah, if my... And, and I want to go into like my my possibilities, you know, my like there's something in me and my energy feels actually kind of good, you know, mm -hmm. in my body. It feels very like I've got a lot of energy here. I've got to do I can do a lot with this. I just don't know exactly how. So I don't know. Looking around. Huh. What does it feel like you so need to get going? Uh, like make a choice or or i i get an i get an idea like mm -hmm. you give me an idea um and, and i could get going like i was about to say like if i landed on something like okay that that's interesting i will go that way and i will i will check that out okay but it's about choice but also about i've got to see something to help me go on that maybe it's our walking in your shoes episode Maybe, could be, could be some episode of some subject of something. And now my movement feels more fluid, obviously, and, but there's curiosity. I don't have the answer, but I'm curious. And my hands are, just wanted to be open like that. And my, let's say my pelvis feels more open. It's like there's a lot of orientation here in the hips. Let that, follow that. Stop following all this. Follow this, follow the, something more grounded, more, more belly. Ooh. Awesome. Yeah, I think that's a good place. That is. Thank you so much, Joseph. Yeah, we got in a couple of walks. We yeah. did. We did. I hope you found this episode inspiring. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the Brilliant Body Podcast and spread the word to all the other brilliant bodies you know who might be interested in some insight and inspiration. If you'd like to learn more about the many ways I'm encouraging and guiding the wider world to reclaim the brilliance of the body, please visit my website at www.alimezey.com. Thanks so much for listening. Until the next episode and beyond, reclaim your brilliant body. This episode was hosted, produced, and edited by me, Ali Mazay. Thanks to Florence Papa for additional editing and my social media management, and to Blair, Mr. One Man Band Wilson, for my theme music. <laughs>